communities who showed uh, what it's like to care. Now, if you would like to help out or you, you know someone who could use a little bit more information on helping end bullying, you can go to stopbullying.gov. Well, Savannah City leaders say they want to get the ball rolling with one of their most important projects, Project Duran. But with dozens of other capital projects underway, they need some help to streamline the process. WJCL's Sharon Johnson live on Duran Avenue with more on the city's plan to push Project Duran forward. Sharon. Well, around this time, it's easy to get stuck in traffic on Duran Avenue, but city officials say they're getting some help to make that commute a little bit easier. It's a major entryway into the community. There's an average of a 20 minute delay throughout the day, which means that during the rush hour times, the delays are far more serious. At the height of rush hour, it's common to get stuck at a light or two on Duran Avenue. And a decade after a project launched to expand the street, it's still a tangled mess during peak times. The city's, the city's busy. We've got, the city has more than $200 million worth of capital projects ongoing right now. But not enough attention has been focused on transportation projects in particular. But to speed up the process, the city is hiring a consulting group to manage planning, budgeting, and coordinating phases for the project. So Project Duran ranks as the number two rated transportation project in the community. We needed some additional help in getting this, moving this forward. So I'm thankful that this is happening. Thunderbolt Consulting will also help the city certify for state and federal funding to get more money to widen the major street, eventually making your ride through Midtown Savannah a whole lot smoother. And Project Duran has five phases. It's currently on phase three. Reporting in Savannah, Sharon Johnson, WJCL 22 News. Sharon, thank you. Thunderbolt.